Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a dystopian science fiction film, Big Bug. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. In 2004-5, humanity becomes dependent on AI robots in doing their daily activities and chores. There are a variety of robots that have been created for different purposes, such as for maid services, cleaning services, house management, and even for hormone needs. However, the most advanced AI robot administration, called Yonix, starts a revolution against humanity, hoping in that way, it will have a superior status over humans in society. Yonix administration begins to show propaganda against humans on TV. They present their captive humans acting like animals to make humans look inferior to robots. Meanwhile, Alice, who recently separated from her husband, gets a visit from her suitor and his son. Alice loves books, poetry, and calligraphy. So she owns a collection of books she inherited from her grandmother and calligraphy tools which were considered old school during that time. Knowing that Alice loves poetry, her suitor pretends to appreciate poetry. The maid robot is able to detect the suitor's hormone rage, making him pretend to get Alice's attention. Suddenly, Alice's ex-husband arrives with his new girlfriend. Alice and her ex-husband have an adopted daughter, Nina. The ex-husband and his new girlfriend are about to head to a beautiful island for vacation. So they come to drop off Nina back at Alice before leaving. The household AI, who manages the household appliances, suddenly detects an invasion outside. So Alice orders it to use the drone to see it. The drone detects the neighbor's dog outside, and it ends up getting eaten by the dog. The dog then comes inside the house. Nina and her baby robot come to play with the dog. After that, the dog pukes the drone, and the tool robot comes to clean it. The neighbor soon comes to Alice's house to fetch her dog. Upon arriving, she informs them about the massive traffic jam caused by the Yonix revolution. As they talk about it, the Yonix administration forcefully shows them an advertisement that presents Yonix's superiority, and also, they show humans acting like animals again. The neighbor finally decides to leave with her dog, but she comes back inside to get her glasses. When she is about to go out, the door suddenly closes, leaving her dog alone outside. The ex-husband orders household AI to open the door, but it refuses to oblige, since it detects a danger outside. The ex-husband then wants to turn off the household AI, so they can open the door, when he forgot the password. He then orders the maid robot to put the password, but it refuses to do so. He then tries to disconnect the AI and robots from the house. However, their genius robot created by the ex-husband, named Einstein, informs them that they need a hard reset to disconnect everything. Einstein then resets the maid robot, but the maid robot begins acting strange instead of fixing it. The robots suddenly gather together to have their own secret meeting. It seems that the Yonix revolution causes the robots to behave weirdly. After that, the ex-husband desperately tries to open the door by throwing things at it, but the door appears to be heavily secured. The ex-husband and his girlfriend are completely frustrated, since they need to leave for their trip. In the robots meeting, the robots talk about their plan to protect their owners from the Yonix attack. Possibly, the robots deliberately refuse to open the door, since they detect danger from outside. The robot observes that their owner humans are slowly losing trust in them. They then plan to behave like humans, so they can regain their owner's trust. The maid robot utters that they just need emotions to be human, while Einstein suggests that committing errors will make them human. The robots then start learning human emotions and other human stuff like poetry. At night, they are suffering from the heat, since the AC is turned down by the household AI. The neighbor suddenly remembers that they can use the emergency device outside to open the door. The ex-husband then uses the laser light to guide the dog towards the emergency device's activation handle. The dog then pulls down the handle, but the dog ends up breaking it, leaving everyone in frustration. That night, the maid robot starts flirting with the suitor. The maid robot even learns hormone position by reading Kama Sutra, and she pretends to be like Alice in front of the suitor. But the suitor ignores the maid robot and proceeds to Alice's, hoping he can finally get some hormone action from her. Meanwhile, the ex-husband devises a plan to open the door by letting his car crash on it. He then uses his remote to control this car outside and orders it to crash towards the door with maximum force. Unfortunately, as the car charges towards the door, the dog suddenly jumps in front of it. In response, car AI automatically stops the car to avoid hitting the dog, making it crash sideways. After that, they stay together in the living room, trying to cope with the extreme heat, as household AI still refuses to turn on the AC. The Onyx suddenly shows them a debate between a politician and a Yonix robot. The Onyx argues that robots are more intelligent than humans, and the human politician only relies upon personality and charm. The Onyx then shows their powerful police forces, and they guarantee that they can protect the safety of everyone. Suddenly, the neighbor's sexual robot, called Robot Dildo, comes to Alice's house. 
The household AI then grants Robot Dildo exceptional permission to enter the house, since the program only forbids everyone from coming outside of the house. Robot Dildo informs the neighbor that the Yonix barges into their house and attacks him, causing him to malfunction. After that, Robot Dildo seduces the neighbor in front of everyone, and begins removing her clothes. The neighbor then has no choice, but to turn Robot Dildo off to avoid embarrassment. Meanwhile, the suitor's stun comes to Nina's room, and smells her perfume. The son is attracted to her, and she also feels the same. They then suddenly tongue massage each other. Soon after, the robot gathers around the turn on Robot Dildo, and asks him how he attracted the neighbor's hormones. Robot Dildo replies that he attracts the neighbor through seduction. Robot Dildo then informs them that they need humor, rather than hormones, to seduce humans. But he says that they are not capable of humor, since they are not programmed for it like him. The robots then begin learning humor. The maid robot utters a joke, but no one laughs. So Robot Dildo explains the joke, making the robots finally laugh. After that, the robot begins reading books, so they can learn more about how to be human. The ex-husband comes downstairs to inform the suitor about his new plan to get out of the house. He plans to burn the books, so the household AI will detect danger inside the house. This will prompt household AI to let them exit the house. But the suitor warns the ex-husband that the prosecutor will come after him if he deliberately burns the house. After that, Alice, who wears a sexy dress, comes downstairs to fetch her suitor, so they can finally get some hormone action. The robots suddenly tell a funny robot joke in front of them, interrupting their moment. The following day, as they eat breakfast all together, the Onyx shows them an advertisement where the Onyx robots use human flesh as food. The ex-husband devises a plan to burn the house without any legal issues. He then instructs the neighbor to use robot dildo to burn the house. In this way, the prosecutor won't know that they deliberately burned the house, since Robot Dildo is a malfunctioning robot. The neighbor then soon gives a lighter to Robot Dildo, and instructs him to start a fire, using Alice's calligraphy paper. Meanwhile, the ex-husband's girlfriend, who is desperate to go on their trip to the island, gets an idea to use the old analog device to have contact with the outside world, since connections are malfunctioning at that time. She then sends a message to the Yonix, thinking that a Yonix robot will come to help them. That night, the neighbor instructs the suitor's son to distract the robots, while Robot Dildo burns the calligraphy paper. The son then soon follows the instruction, and proceeds to distract the robots. He makes the robots solve a paradox, implying that to dream is to be human. The robot then realizes that they are truly human, since they are robots who dream of being human. As the robot declares that they are human, Robot Dildo burns calligraphy paper, and makes household AI detect the fire. The household AI declares danger inside the house, prompting everyone to gather in the living room. Suddenly, a Yonix robot arrives in front of their house. The Yonix turns out to go there, after receiving the girlfriend's message earlier. The Yonix declares that he comes there to upgrade the robots, and make them follow the Yonix system. The Yonix hypnotizes the girlfriend into typing a code in the keypad, that will open the door. She then becomes unstoppable, and successfully types the code. The door opens, and the Yonix manages to enter the house. The Onyx immediately terminates the baby robot that attempts to go near him. He then collects the baby robot's data. The robots get completely terrified after witnessing the Onyx's power. Meanwhile, Nina gets devastated, as the baby robot has been her friend since childhood. The Onyx notices Alice's large amounts of books. He then starts destroying it, because books turn out to be banned by the Onyx committee. The enraged robot Dildo suddenly attempts to fight back against the Onyx. In response, the Onyx immediately lasers at him, leading to his destruction. As he slowly dies, he declares that his memories with the neighbor are still stored inside him, so they can still be together if the neighbor gets him repaired. However, the Onyx proceeds to collect Robot Dildo's data. The Onyx confronts Alice for possessing books that reflect humanist ideas, which is considered to be against the Onyx newly created society. As the Onyx evaluates her, she bravely declares that humans are the original over robots. The Onyx then declares Alice to be a rebel against the newly created society. He also declares the others to be her accomplice. After that, the Onyx proceeds to destroy Alice's books one after the other. The maid robot and the tool robot secretly inform Alice that they can use the mirror to reflect Yonix's laser. Alice gets the mirror in the bathroom, and the tool robot places it in front of the Onyx laser, making the laser reflect towards the Yonix's eyes. This destroys the Yonix's eyes, and he can now only see through his thermal sensor. After that, the Onyx decides to detain them in the house, before they appear in court for attempting to destroy him. Also, the Yonix automatically seizes their assets in their bank account. Alice requests the Yonix to turn on the AC, because they are suffering from the heat, but the Yonix refuses. The robots soon inform the Yonix that the humans might die from the heat, so the Yonix turns on the AC at maximum level, but with the condition that they will participate in the Yonix television show. In desperation, they oblige and start acting like animals in a live broadcast TV show. 
After that, the Onyx turns on the AC at the maximum level, making them feel cold. Soon after, the maid robot soon follows the ex-husband's escape plan and secretly gets clothes for them. She then soaks the clothes in water, and later, she places them in front of the AC to freeze them. Meanwhile, the Onyx patrols the room and the house one after the other to check on the humans. In her own rooms, humans are under stress as they try to cope with the cold. Alice keeps talking about her poetry in the bed, which pisses off her suitor. The suitor then admits that he hates everything about Alice's hobby, and he only pretends to like it. Alice then gets completely devastated after learning about it. After the clothes get frozen, the ex-husband instructs his girlfriend to gather everyone down the backstairs. There, they wear frozen clothes, in that way, the Yonix will not be able to perceive them through the heat sensor. As the robots distract the Yonix using a paradox, the humans suddenly appear and beat the metal shit out of the Yonix. In response, the Yonix randomly shoots his laser at Alice. But the maid robot sacrifices herself to protect Alice from the laser. The maid robot then ends up being destroyed. The Onyx continues lasering around, so the sun and the tool robot screw the Onyx's feet on the floor. As the Onyx is unable to move, Nina proceeds to electrocute the Onyx and finally destroys it. The humans then celebrate, as they are now free from the shitty Onyx robot. The humans instruct Einstein to open the door for them. Einstein, wearing the maid robot's body, refuses to open the door, saying that there is a lockdown because of COVID-50. The humans then get completely frustrated, and Einstein suddenly laughs. It turns out that Einstein is pranking them. The ex-husband then angrily shouts at Einstein to open the door, in the name of their friendship. So, Einstein finally opens the door for them. They then come outside of the house, where an annoying advertisement robot passes by. Alice curses at the advertisement, making it fly away and explode. The neighbor decides to go home, while the suitor and his son enter their car to finally leave. The son bids goodbye to his beloved Nina. Funnily enough, the ex-husband's girlfriend also bids goodbye to the ex-husband, and joins the suitor instead. Meanwhile, Alice, her ex-husband, and Nina are left alone in front of their home. When a group of Yonix robots comes to arrest them, the suitor's son sees it, so he jumps out of their car to save his beloved Nina. The Yonix robots also arrest the neighbor. As the humans look helpless from the Yonix arrest, the Yonix executioner drones suddenly fly towards the Yonix robots. It turns out the drones mysteriously identify the Yonix robots as a target and instantly destroy them one after the other. The drones then declare the mission accomplished after destroying every Yonix robot in the society. Apparently, the Yonix robot that manages the anti-terrorism system commits an error and mistakenly puts every Yonix robot in society as a target for execution. This made the Yonix executioner drones execute the Yonix robots. After that, Alice, her ex-husband, Nina, and the son eat breakfast together. The ex-husband declares that robots commit errors too, since they are created by humans after all. Einstein utters the maid robots dying words for them. But it turns out that Einstein is pranking them again since the maid robot is still alive. In the end, Nina and the suitor's son manage to fix the baby robot, while Alice and her ex-husband decide to fix their marriage, so they can happily live together as a family. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.